Are you part of a data team that gets nervous when layoff fever is going around the industry? Having been on numerous data teams that were on the chopping block, I often wonder what is the best way to build a data team that can weather the storm? Disclaimer, I've always been an individual contributor, so these are just my thoughts. Feel free to comment with your experience. Let's start with the basics, the people. Building a data team isn't just about finding people who can code or crunch numbers. It's about putting together a group that's not only technically savvy, but also aligned with the company's goals. You want to split your team into two segments, the engineering side and the science and analytics side. Start with finding a lead for each of these sides, two people you can trust to take ownership, architect their segment, and most importantly, work together. The engineering lead will be responsible for technical architecture, infrastructure, reliability, monitoring, and the pipelines. The analytics lead will be responsible for data quality, modeling the curated data, reporting, machine learning, and data science. The two of them should work together to determine what the stack looks like. From there, fill out the teams by getting some junior devs to build into the roles. Now for the third key person, your business analyst or technical product manager. Honestly, I've rarely had a team with a dedicated person filling this role, and I always think that's been a key problem. Or if there is a person, it's always a throwaway position just to have somebody handle JIRA and help out the manager. A good BA or PM is so essential. It makes the difference from churning out useless reports that nobody looks at and executives just trusting their gut over what your team produces. If that's the case, your team is never going to be considered essential. A good PM will not only make sure your team's energy is spent on the things the business will see value in, they'll also be key in gathering supporting metrics, making sure your successes are celebrated and well-known, and even finding the direct value contributions from your data outputs. In other words, making your data its own business product. So as the leader, what is your role in all of this? It's not to be making design and architecture decisions. That's why you've hired great leads. Other than standard managerial duties to your team, you should be laser focused on business value. While your PM is focused on making sure the team is producing quality data products, you'll have more access to C-level leadership. So you need to know their goals and objectives and then bring that knowledge to the PM. You need to make sure everyone knows the value of data and how your team creates that value, especially your backend engineers who have less organizational visibility. Your job is all about the budget and the politics and using politics to get more budget. KPIs or OKRs or whatever they're calling them these days are essential. It can be really hard to have clearly defined measurements for infrastructure work or long running data science projects, but it's important to work with your leads to define these. You don't have to get crazy. You can just define pipeline durations, data availability, metadata tagging, and increasing data sources. Just make sure you have a bunch of numbers to show leadership because they love numbers. The other bonus to this is you don't have to worry about micromanaging your team or counting people's hours. You have an agreed upon method of measuring if people are doing their jobs or not. Now you can let them figure out their own work style to get it done. So that's how I would approach to building a data team from scratch. I'd love to hear how others have taken this on. And of course, all this falls apart when it's time to work with finance, but it's good to have a plan or at least a dream.